Hello YouTube, this is the Hoover and Sons Sports Card Channel. My name is Brandon, and today we're going to take a look at the 1993 Pittsburgh Pirates team set. And the interesting thing about this team set, for me as a Pirates fan, um, it was kind of the end of the Bonds era, the three straight NL Division titles, uh, NL East Division titles, um, the uh, losses in the playoffs, and it was supposed to bridge the next competitive Pirates team, uh, which you know at the end of the Bonds era was 20 consecutive losing seasons, so that didn't happen. But anyway, <clears throat> let's take a look at these cards. These are 93 tops. So this will feature the final Barry Bonds card. I have him in alphabetical order, so he'll be coming up soon. There's Stan Belinda, who gave up uh, the runs in the ninth inning in Game 7 and 92 against Atlanta. Actually, I'm not going to put this down what I was thinking there. Uh, my favorite Pirates player as a kid, Jay Bell. And Barry Bonds, last regular base card as a Pirate. I'll put that back up there. And the thing about this card is as a kid, see, 93, I was 12. That's the first baseball card I remember where they used the throwback uniforms. You can see that. Um, but that's the uniforms from the early 1900s, maybe uh, 1920s and earlier, if I remember right. <clears throat> uh, Victor Cole, who I don't remember at all. Steve Cook, he was supposed to be a very good pitcher. Um, he was okay. Then Doug Drayback, of course, would go on to leave for Houston. Carlos Garcia. And my favorite pirate after Jay Bell is rookie card of Jason Kendall. Who I believe to this day still has the longest contract um, or the largest contract extension the Pirates have handed out. Of course, he signed the extension and promptly broke his ankle in a rather horrific play at first base. Jeff King, he was the number one pick back in, I think, 86. Mike Lavalier, I think he left for the White Sox. Jose Lean, who had the big air in Game 7 in 92 that led to Atlanta rallying to make it to the World Series. I believe he left for Kansas City. There's Al Martin. He was supposed to be a big part of the next winning team. That did not happen. Lloyd McClendon would go on to manage the Pirates. Famously stealing a second base in an argument with an umpire. Orlando Merced. He had he started out very good as a rookie. I, believe, I actually met him at Pirate Fest too in the early 90s uh, with Jay Bell. Lost Miner. Another pitcher was supposed to uh, kind of be a stud and didn't quite work out. A pitcher that did end up very good though. Danny Nagel. Of course he would put it all together with Atlanta. He's good with the Pirates, kind of like Jason Schmidt. He's, you know, good with the Pirates, but when he left, took it to another level. Well, now I say that, I could say about Garrett Cole, Glass now. I mean, there's a whole bunch. Bob Patterson, maybe the oldest player on the roster at this point. And here's a coming, I like these coming attraction cards, by the way. I, William Penny, William Pennyfeather, I'm sorry. Don't know whatever happened to this guy, um. Funny thing is he's coming attraction. There's the back of it. He was signed as an undrafted free agent. Uh, made his big league debut June 92. Don't know what happened with him. Don Slot would take over for Mike Lavallier. He had been the backup. Of course, he had some good years uh, with the Rangers and Yankees. And one guy they re-signed after Bonds and Mania left, Andy Van Slyke. Still a fan favorite. And another card in the throwback, Zane Smith. Who the Pirates traded Moises Alou to Montreal for him. I believe in 90, 91. One of my great what-ifs, Randy Tomlin. Um, I think he's a college pitching coach now, but he's a guy who could dominate um, at times. But he got hurt and, you know, never really made it back all the way. I mean, he struggled a little bit and the Pirates released him rather quickly. Gary Varsho whose son Dalton is now one of the Diamondbacks' top prospects. And after a slow start, he's picked it up. 
Paul Wagner. Yet another pitcher I believe that was supposed to. That's actually the traded card of Paul Wagner. So that's his rookie card. 109T. Let's see. A couple more. Then we will end this. Tim Wakefield. The Pirates famously gave up on him. He would go on to Boston and revive his career and then some. Fun guy to watch. And Bob Walk, who is a color analyst now for the Pirates. Along with his buddy, John Wayner. And lastly, another guy who's worked some broadcasts this year, um, Kevin Young. Who had some, he started off slowly, went to Kansas City. Uh, I believe he came back and really picked it up, but, um, you know, never a star. That's actually his rookie card, too, 52 traded. But anyway... That's all I got today. This video probably not for anybody, just some Pirates fans that want to relive some pain. But anyway, um, yeah, that's all I got. So remember, like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. We really appreciate it. And thank you guys for watching. And take it easy. We'll see you soon.